This, this video is going to help you find the area and perimeter of multi shapes. And what I call multi shapes are just shapes that are not a parallelogram, trapezoid, triangle, or rectangle, but they can be broken down into those shapes. So, perimeter is just like we've always done perimeter. All I'm going to have to do is add all the sides. Area is a little bit different. I'm going to break the shape into smaller shapes and then add all of the areas of the smaller shapes together. So, here's our first one. Right, right away, away, I can see that this can be broken into two rectangles. I could either cut across here, or I can cut across here, and it really doesn't make any difference. So we're going to do the first one both ways, just so you can see. If I cut there, I now have a red rectangle on top, and I have a blue rectangle on the bottom. There we go. My pin wasn't working for a second. So, so now, now what I'm going to do, first step is, I want the perimeter. perimeter. So to so find the perimeter, I'm just going to add all the sides. sides. And I'm going to put a little slash on each side when I use it. So I got a 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. And that would get me all the way around. And then I like to just do this, 15. 10 and 5 is another 15, 3 and 3 is another 6, add them together, 36 inches. Nothing to the perimeter. All right, let's go for area. Area of rectangles equals width times length. So I'm going to come up to this top rectangle. I want to know how wide it is from here to here. That would be 7 inches. I also need to know how tall from here to here. Well, I notice on one side I have a 3, on this other side I have an 8. And, and I know, know since it's a rectangle, one side can't be 3 and the other side 8. This, this 8 stands for this entire length. And, and if you notice, since this is a 5 over here, if I brought that 5 straight over to here, 5 plus 3 would give me 8, right? If I have that 3 there and that 5 there, that's where they come up with that 8. So this side is 3. 3 times 7, 21 square inches. Come, Come to my, my blue, blue rectangle. rectangle. I, now I now know it's 5 on this side. And, and this entire length is down here at the bottom. It's a 10. 5 times 10 gives me 50. 50 square inches. And then if I add my two areas together, I'm at 71 square inches. Remember that number, 71 square inches. We're going to redo the problem by cutting it the other way real fast. So now I have a purple rectangle on the side. And I have, I have a really large red one right beside it. So here we go. Let's try out the purple one first. This one's pretty easy to find because right there's the 3 and there's the 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. Let's go to the big rectangle. If I'm just going from there to there, it is not 10 because this side was also 3, which means this side was also 7. So the 10 doesn't really exist anymore. So, so if I, I take a fast look, this is 7 on this side, and this, and this entire side is 8. 7, seven times 8 is 56. 56, 56 plus 15, so guess what I'm going to get? You guessed it, 71 square inches, which, which totally makes sense, sense because the amount of squares, squares it would take, it would take on the inside is not going to change depending on how I cut the thing. thing. Here's, Here's one, one for you to try out. Really, really quick, I'm just going to cut this way. Right, right away, I see this 17 side is one that I cut into. Do you see how I cut in the middle of it? So it's not really 17 anymore. This is a 5 there, and this is a 12 there. And I think that will help you guys do the problem. So now, when I start doing this, I see right away that I got 5 times 10 up here, which is 50. And down here on the bottom, I have 12 times 15, which I may have to work out. 10... 30, Marco, Polo, 5 and a 1, 180. And then if I add my two areas together, 180 plus 50, I get 230. Let's go back and try to find my perimeter real fast. So I have 10 plus 5, that's 15. 5 plus 12, that's 17. 15 plus 12, 27, and then I got that 5 right there. 
people might say, hey, well, you didn't use the 17. Well, that's because we changed the 17 to this 12 and this 5. 10 plus 14 is 24. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 64 inches for my perimeter. And I notice I forgot to put square inches on my area over there. Here's another one for you to try out. I'm going to go with perimeter, perimeter first. first. So, so here we go. go. 20, 20 plus 6. 5 plus 4. 15 plus 10. Add them, Add them all together. together. 15, 20. 20. Wow, wow, that one comes out exactly 60 inches. inches. All, all right, then I'm getting ready to cut my piece, piece across this way. Notice, notice I cut right, right into the 10 side. So this 10 is not here anymore. How much, How much is this side of the big rectangle? rectangle? Well, well, over there, there it's six, six. So I'm putting a six there. there. How, How much of the little, little rectangle, rectangle is it right here? Four. four. And so, so now, now I should be ready to go. go. The, top the top one's going to be 20, 20 times six, 120, 120 square inches. inches. Bottom, bottom one's going to be 40 times 15, which is 60. 120, 120 plus 60 for my area, area was, was 180 square inches. inches. Ooh, new, new kind, kind here. here. When, when I cut this one, I'm still going to be cutting it into two rectangles. Let me do perimeter first. I'm just going to start down here. 20 plus 4 is 24. 6 plus 5, 11. 6 plus 5, 11 again. And then I got 8 plus 4 left. So that would give me 12. Add them all up for my perimeter. 4, 5, 6, 8. 1, 2, 3, 5, 58 inches. Hey, this time when I cut... There's, There's only, only one way I can cut this to make two rectangles, and that would be right there. Right, right away, I'm going on the top one. Since I see this is 8, then this piece right there must also be 8, right? So I got an 8 times 5 is 40 square inches, and I come down to the bottom one. It's 20 all the way across, and 4 up and down. 20 times 4 is 80. 80 plus 40, 120 square inches, my area. You stop, stop the video and try this one out. Here we, Here we go for perimeter first. 14, 14 plus 6 is 20. 20. 4 and 7 is 11. Take, take this other 4, 4 and 7, 7 is another 11. And, and 6 and 6, six is 12. 12. Add them up. 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, one, two three, three, 5. 54 inches, inches for my perimeter. Let's go, Let's go to area. area. I'm going to cut it across the middle again. again. If the, if the top of the little rectangle is 6, then this part right here must also be 6. Base, base times height, length, length times width, width whichever way you want to do it. I'm taking 7, seven times 6. So this one's 42. Down, Down here, 14, 14 times 6. 24, carry my 2, 6, 8, 84. And then, and then when I add my 2 together, 84 and 42, I get 126 square inches. Another, Another one for you to try out. out. Still, Still looks like, like the hat, hat. just turned on its side. side. So, so perimeter, perimeter, I'm just going to start, start grabbing, grabbing numbers and adding together. together. 2, Two plus, plus 4 is 6. six. Three, 3 and 5 is 8. Three, 3 and 4, four is seven. 7. 2, Two and 13, 13 is 15. And, and I've used all the numbers. numbers. So now I add them up. 6 and 8, 14. 14. 21, 26. 26. Carry my 2. 36 inches. Okay. This time I want to cut this away. So I, so I get two rectangles. rectangles. So, so my long skinny rectangle is 13 inches tall right there. there. And it's only two inches wide, wide either on top or bottom. They're both the same. 13 times 2 gets me a 26. Come, Come to the shorter rectangle. rectangle. It's 5 on this side. And then 3 across. 5 times 3 is 15. So for area, I'm adding 26 plus 15. And I, and I should, should get 41 square inches. inches. Right. This, this problem got to be slightly, slightly different. different. Let's, Let's start, start with perimeter, perimeter first. One, One thing I notice is this side over here does not even have a number. But since, since this is a, the whole, the whole outside is basically a rectangle, rectangle that, 11 that 11 must also be going over here. here. So, so now what I'm going to do is do, is do my perimeter, perimeter first. first. So I, so I got 23 plus 11, that's 34, 6 plus 7, 13, 
12 plus 7, 19. And 5 plus 11, 16. Add them, Add them all together, together for my perimeter. perimeter. 7, 16, 16 22. 5, 6, 6 7, 8, 82 inches. inches. When, when I, I go to cut, cut this one, one there is not, not going to be a way to just cut it into two rectangles. rectangles. However, However, I can, can cut it into three rectangles. rectangles. So, so I'm going to cut right, right here, here, up and down. And now, and now I have three rectangles. rectangles. And, and since, since I cut, cut into, into my 23 side, side I know that this is no longer 23, 23 for, just for just the short, short piece. 23 was the entire thing. thing. So let, so let me bring, bring some, some numbers, numbers up that I know. If the bottom of this rectangle is 5, then I also know that that piece right there is 5. And if the bottom of this rectangle is 6, I know the top of this one is 6. So now, if this piece right here is 6, and this piece here was 5, and that entire thing was 23, I'm going to take 6 plus 5 is 11, subtract that from 23, and that's, and that's going to tell me that this middle piece was 12. Oh, that makes sense because right there on the bottom it is also 12. So now let's try finding the area of all of them. So I got a 5 times 11 that I'm using. That would give me 55. Over on this side, I've got 6 times 11, which would give me 66. I go to that middle rectangle. And one of the problems is I see is I don't know how much this side is or this side. But if I look back at either one of the other rectangles, I notice this entire side is 11, which means this whole side right here has to be 11. And if this part of it is 7, what's left? If I take 7 from 11, 4. And the same exact thing would have worked over here because I have this 11 for that whole side and 7 down here. So now, so now that, that I know that this is 4, four and this is 12, 4 times 12 equals 48. And then, and then I just need to add, add my three parts up. up. So I got a 66, 55, and a 48. 11, 19, 7, 12, 16, 169 square inches. And some people always get worried, how can it be odd if you have square inches? It absolutely could be odd. Stop, stop the video when you guys try it out. All right, All right, I'm going for perimeter, perimeter first. Right, right away, I see a 7 and a 3. three. I like that one. That's, that's, that's just 10. 10. And I see 10, 10 and 16. And 16. That's, that's 26. 26. And 10 and 4. 4. That's 14. And 7 and 9. There's another 16. Add them, Add them up. 10, 10 16, 16. Carry my 1, 2, 2 4, 5, 6. 66, 66 inches. For area, for area I'm, I'm going to cut across here and here. here. People go, why did you cut that way? Could you, should you cut the other way? It doesn't make any difference. I still have one, two, three rectangles. If you cut down two times, the same thing is going to happen. One thing I want you to notice is that since we cut into this side, this one's no longer 10, and this one's no longer 10 because we cut into that side. So since this part of this rectangle is 7, this must be 7, and if this whole thing was 10, I would mean this part's 3. Same, same exact, exact thing, thing happens on this other, other side. side. Since this side is 7, this part, this part there is also 7. And since this whole thing was 10, that's, that's got to be 3. Now it now makes, makes it really easy to do. I got, I got 7 on the side, 4 on the, four on the top, top, that's 28. On this, on this side, side, I got 7 on the top side and 3 on the top, 21. And down on the bottom, I got 3 on the side and the entire length is 16. I don't want the 9 because the 9 only goes from right here to right here. So that would only be that much of it. So I want 3 times 16, which is 48. And I add up my areas, 48, 21, and 28. 8 and 8, 16, plus one more, 17. 5, 7, 9, 97 square inches. And that's how I find the area and perimeter of multi-shapes.